Three, two, one. Oh. This video is about phones. My name is William Osmond. I'm an engineer who used to work at NASA. And last year, I dropped my phone 435 times. That's 1.19780821 times per day. What can I say? I'm a clumsy guy. The reason it's a problem is because this video is sponsored by Google Pixel. And this is the brand new Google Pixel 7 Pro. And they only gave me one rule. Don't break it. Last year, my phone spent over three minutes in free fall. I'm extremely concerned. The total distance fallen is over a quarter mile. This is the actual number of times my phone smashed into the ground last year. Really loud. Ah, oh, my ears. I have to figure out a way to protect this phone because I cannot, under any circumstances, destroy it. I asked you guys for ideas because I could only come up with one and it's not that good. I used all my good ideas at my last job. You guys submitted 5,500 ideas, which is a ton of ideas until I realized that it's actually the same six ideas over and over and over again. What is a yo-yo phone? I Googled it and I have no idea what a yo-yo phone is. Is this how old people feel all the time? Retractable phone cable. I'll tape my phone to my hand. Oh. Rocket phone. I like that. I like that idea. Let's make a rocket phone. Also, this isn't a real phone. This is my crash test dummy. And this is my little rocket. And these are rocket motors. Take one of these. <laughs> I should open this first. And we shove it up into here. That doesn't fit at all. <laughs> one second. That'll do it. Set down right on time. That was awesome. Rockets are normally used to make things go up, but the same of physics applies to things that are going down to make them not go down as much. What I'm trying to say is I think we need a bigger rocket. Dummy phone with a bigger rocket. Where, where, I need earplugs, where are the earplugs? I need earplugs. The less questions you ask, the better for all of us. This is first test of the rocket phone. I'm just gonna drop it and ignite it at the same time. Three, two, one. Well, that could have gone worse. God, it smells like crap in here. The good news is, is that it did have an effect. The bad news is the phone is completely destroyed. It could have been worse. We did get a positive result. Let's check the damage. Burnt some of these plastic bags over here. It melted a hole in my safety jacket. Very intense series of skid marks on the ground. Very similar to my old family dog. I can tell you that the phone is broken though. You see that little red indicator right there? See it? Do you see the, the red line right here? I built this crash test dummy by measuring the height, width, and thickness of the phone with my caliper. And then 3D printed this model of it. On the back side, there's a cavity for this shock sensor that's commonly used for shipping packages. You put that into here, and if either of those bars turned red, it means the phone experienced an impact greater than 5G. It's pretty cool, right? How about you guys help me come up with a name for this spot right here down in the comments below? If you're curious how the detector works, so am I. So I printed out the patent, but then I realized that we don't need no stinking patent. Because we've got macro mode. This is an amazing feature of the new Pixel. You can see that this sensor has a weight and these little plastic filaments. And on little impacts, it moves a little bit, but then it resets. But on a large impact, it pushes just too far down and it latches into place. I did the math. It turns out that one of the small rocket motors is actually perfect size for this. Let's see if the small rocket motor can protect the phone from a fall. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Wait, that actually kind of worked. No way. Well, 
Still triggered, the <laughs> sensor broke the screen a little bit. That looks so good. You can see it's slowing down. It comes to a complete stop and then the motor's just got a bit too much power after the fact, but you can see it comes to a stop about 15 inches above the ground. This is the back angle. It flips and then smacks into the ground. Still pretty hard, but it's much better than the first rocket. I can't shake the feeling that you guys are trying to kill me. Maybe we try something a little bit less lethal. What are our other ideas? Yo, 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 <laughs> God. I feel like people are just plagiarizing each other. This is not a unique enough idea. Like there's no way you're not copying. This isn't school. You don't have to leave an answer. God, is this, do you, is that yo, yo phone really? Really, that's what you want? Yo, yo phone, yo, yo phone. You actually want this. I'll make, I'll make a yo-yo phone. I'm gonna make a yo-yo phone. You can't stop me now. Now it's my dream, my ambition. I'm making this I got a yo-yo. I haven't played with one of these in like 15 years. I've probably still got it in me. I used to be the reigning yo-yo champion. They used to say, yo, loser. God, I don't miss those days. Ooh, yeah, wah, yo -ho, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got it, one, two, one, two, walk the dog. Walk the dog, walk the cat. Woo! Your stupid idea, my ingenious application of it. Yo-yo phones. Three, two, one. It's, it's stuck on my hand. It's too wide, it won't rotate. I can't. I actually, oh, there we go, I got it. Attempt number two. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. I don't understand what I did wrong. Is it off balance? Of course it's off balance. It's two phones <laughs> glued to a yo-yo. All right, next, next idea. Would you believe me if I told you I'm a degreed engineer? Boingy ball or spring phone first? What is that? Yo-yo phone? You want me to do yo-yo phone? I already did yo-yo phone. I'm not doing yo-yo phone again. All right, I'm doing spring phone first. Three, two, one. Oh, that's wicked. It totally worked. Oh my God. Three, two, one. Oh my God. What is this, a good idea? This is spring phone from eight feet in the air. Three, two, one, drop. <laughs> the detector fell out. Do we just do face down now? Like, I, we, I guess we have to. Three, two, one. Oh, I think we found something that, that breaks the phone. <laughs> Did you hear the sound? Spring phone, except I'm gonna yeet it. I don't know, spring phone. Oh, there's something there. Whoever came up with this idea that I was ragging on, I'm so sorry. This is, you are a genius, a certified genius. I don't have any authority to give you a title like that, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I'm giving it to you anyways. All right, for my next invention, balls. You guys like balls? This one's got a lot of balls. This is gonna be bad, this is such a stupid idea. Three, two, one. Well. Gotta buy a new GoPro now. <laughs> it did trigger the 5G drop sensor. Something I've noticed is Boingy balls have got a sort of mucus on them. I think the hot glue is not sticking super well to it. So let's just go higher. Boingy ball from super high in the air, maybe like eight feet. Three, two, one. Yeah. It's like reactive armor. You're just gonna have segments exploding off. For this throw, my motivation is gonna be, uh, I'm Mark Rober and the president just texted me saying I'm, I'm not allowed to play with squirrels anymore. Uh, oh, woo! holy God, it's gone. Nope, it's not gone, it's right here. What's my verdict? Uh, boingy ball phone case, eh. Let's try something a little bit more, less safe. Mm. Mm, big Willy like. A car airbag. I can't show you the logo because I, well, actually, you know what? I have an idea, one sec. Get up. This steering wheel is absolutely rancid. This is 20 years of goo buildup. If you do not know what you're doing, don't play with an airbag. How does it work? There's a small explosion inside that they call a gas generator, which generates a bunch of gas and inflates the bag. I think this would work really well for the phone. If it can stop your face, it can stop a phone. This is a good idea. Chelsea, 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 are you ready to see my new invention? Let me show you my new invention. It's an airbag. You're gonna need these. Are the neighbors gonna help? I don't know, we'll find out when it happens. Hey, what are the police gonna do? Stop me? What crime? How do I adjust these? I don't really fit. You have to... Why is everything you have broken? You wanna press a button? No. Babe, you've barely touched any of your button. 
three, two, one. <laughs> Did you like that? No. That was awesome. Oh, it's warm. That really is not a good smell. Whoa, it's like boiling. I'll spit on it. Oh, it smells like burnt spit now. <laughs> William, where are you getting all these steering wheels? Keep asking questions like that and you're gonna find yourself at the bottom of a lake. For some reason, there's just a bunch of steering wheels at the bottom of a lake. Like, it's very it's very weird. I don't understand it. It's probably bad for the fish, but I'm doing my duty and I'm collecting them all. Anyways, I hope that answers your question. Oh my god, these things are everywhere. Actually, you know what? If you want to buy a boingy ball, I'm going to put them on Cat Warehouse. And uh, how about a quarter? And then uh, free shipping? A quarter, that's a great deal. One quarter and free shipping. I'm going to lose money. Um... So how's the airbag actually gonna save the phone? Well, some of you guys suggested to have a little RC car follow me around. So I went and bought this motorized police car. I thought it was a remote control, but it, <laughs> it just drives forwards and backwards on its own. Put the airbag on top of the car, and then it drives around following your phone. Come on, go forward. Go forward! Are we ready, gamers? Three, two, one. Interesting, very interesting. Oh, it's like a bag of burnt popcorn. All right, let's spit on this one. Oh wait, the screen is gone? Oh, there it is. Put that back where it belongs. I feel like we should have learned some sort of lesson, but I, I can't think of anything. I have one more airbag. Did you know you can buy skin color 3D printing filament? I used it to make an airbag phone case. I took a car airbag and I attached it to a cell phone. But part of me wonders what happens if you're making a call and the airbag goes off. Well, I've got my friend here, Mr. Bones, to help us figure that out. Are you ready? Konnichiwa! Mr. Bones, you speak Japanese? Well, good news is, is my Pixel 7 Pro has live translate that allows me to communicate in over 48 different languages. Nazo-nazo-omatemasu! <laughs> I have riddles waiting for you. Ah, uh, a, a riddle. Danse no kokaku ni nai one wa doreka. Which bone is not in the male skeleton? Nope. I... A funny bone! Ah! By the way, you're like the fourth Mr. Bones. Most of them don't survive. God, look how much better you look wearing some swag from catwarehouse.com. Mr. Bones, what's that sound? Hello? This is Mr. Bones speaking. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mr. Bones. <coughs> oh God, it smells so bad. Why do I keep walking into the smoke every time? Oh, your hand is completely gone. Here's the phone. Where's, where's the air, there's the air pack. Oh my God, jeez. All right, did the phone survive? N no. No, it didn't. That's a new speed record on how quickly I have dismembered a Mr. Bones. All right, next idea is a drone phone. All right. Welcome to my workbench. I'm going to take you through the painstaking step-by-step -step process that it is required for building a drone phone. Look at that. I've already finished that. It took me five seconds to, what, Jesus, no. You know, let's, what am I doing? How do, where did I, how did I, why do people watch these videos? This is my drone phone, as you can see, it's a phone and a drone. My speed controller is a switch. Three, two, one. I gotta plug the battery in. Let me just get that in. Two. Ah! Ah! All right, drone phone in three, two, one. Let her rip, baby. Well, this is interesting. Perhaps we've invented a new vehicle. A car, but the wheels are sideways. Maybe it'll work without the phone in it. God. All right, the drone and phone weighs 232 grams, and it produces 11 grams of thrust, or 10 grams of thrust. God, it sounds like it's dying, too. The drone would have to be an order of magnitude more powerful than the current one. You would literally have a drone with a phone on it, not a phone with a drone on it. Hmm. 
a belt with four telescoping sticks. So it expands out to catch the phone when it falls. That's ingenious. And they said Einstein was dead? No, I'm not joking. This is actually a fantastic idea. Who, who is this man? Aaron. Aaron, I don't know what you do for a living, but you should quit your job and become an inventor. If you give me your ideas, I'll build them. We'll become rich together. Wood. I need wood. I need cylinders, pneumatic cylinders, and wood. Where is wood? Right here. Okay, let's cut some wood. I have built it, and it only took me an entire day. Air valve gets plugged in there, battery gets plugged in, then the high pressure air inlet gets plugged in right here. Ah! I did that backwards. Ow! 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 Oh God, it's, the air pressure is far too high. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done any of this. I don't have any net, but I know something else that I can use. Can I borrow a dress? Actually, I'm not gonna ask for no, permission. Wait, 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 wait. You're not putting one of my dresses in there. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, oh no. All right, boys, which dress do we want? Something white, maybe? Oh my gosh. This one's nice. I love that dress. Those are pants. Yeah, I'm gonna borrow what this one. I really like that Can I borrow dress. this one? Thank you. Are you gonna ruin it? I'm gonna wear it. Can my dress catch the Google Pixel 7 Pro? Three, two, one. The dress is too tight. Oh, yeah, all right, okay. I need a, I need a different dress. I need a, a looser dress. Please help me pick out a dress. Uh, Please. I don't really know, William. I need a dress that the wind will pick up. I've got a different dress. This one expands a little bit more. Three, two, one. Why didn't the front go up? Only the back went up. Oh God, it all went up. Ow! Oh. Oh, there's an actual chance this crashes my balls. Three, two, one. Oh, it caught it. It's a little twisted up. I think we gotta work on the deployment. Actually, I don't really wanna work on this one anymore. Ow! Would you say yes if I asked you to prom? <laughs> the next great idea is balloons. 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 I've always wanted to play, uh, work with high pressure gas. In this cartridge is 2,500 PSI. 2,500 PSI of helium gas. What if we strap this to a cell phone? This is gonna work great. This is the part where I explain to you in disgustingly minute detail how every single part of this works. And if I even see a single percentage drop in retention, I will show high pressure air tank. That's welded shut. When you screw this all the way down, it punctures it and it releases it into the system through these high pressure fittings. Once the gas is in the system, this is a solenoid valve. When I open this, it'll come through here, through this manifold and into the balloon. You might have noticed that these valves look very heavy. They are. And that is what this is for. This detaches the phone from the rest of the system. So when it's dropped, it can fill the balloons and evacuate up and away without all this extra weight. The servo motor pulls this little clip out and that allows the phone to leave. But if the phone leaves and the balloons are filled, bing bong caveman brain, the gas will just leak out. Well, that's what this white fitting here is for. It's a check valve. Did I put that the right way? I did, oh God, it's glued down, I hope I did. All right, let's turn it on and see if it explodes. <laughs> up and down, releases the phone, and left, actuates the solenoid for the gas. I'm sure this is gonna go fine. I... What? What the hell was that? What was that? That cartridge cost $20. It didn't work at all? Why did the one balloon fill up and the other ones didn't? Why does nothing I make work? 
on the first try. It always works, it's just, it takes longer than one try. Another $20 down the drain, I put thread sealer on it this time. Where? It's leaking from here? $40! Oh! Tank number five, I have officially spent $100 on helium. Wait, that's all? That's not nearly enough. Are you kidding me? This is 2,500 PSI. How much gas is in here? 2.4 grams? Is that a lot? Doesn't sound like a lot. This is so frustrating. I'm so frustrated right now. Ah! It turns out even at 2,500 PSI, one of those disposable cartridges is only enough gas to fill up one balloon in its entirety. You would need a canister bigger than my head to make it work. I, you know what? I'm not, I actually really don't want to do that. I can't believe how well all these ideas are working. A parachute. I think you might actually be onto something. There's a common problem across all these ideas that they take too long to deploy, except the springs are the bouncy balls that are always active. Dropping your phone from a handheld height doesn't give you a lot of time to determine if the phone is in free fall or if it's just you jumping off of a step or shaking the phone up and down or tossing it into the air gently. How do you determine the difference between someone jumping off a small ledge or throwing their phone onto their bed versus an actual free fall? There's not enough time to safely activate a mechanism, and we've seen the consequences of what happens when it goes off unintentionally. Pretend these eggs are people. People can survive short falls like this, but they can't survive tall falls. Short falls alive, tall fall is dead. But the parachute solves all of these problems. If we only focus on the really tall falls, tall enough that you'll die if you were falling off, then we don't have to worry about false positives because they were already going to die. A parachute, a servo to open the parachute, two batteries, microprocessor, an accelerometer. And if it's in free fall for greater than half a second, it deploys the parachute by opening the servo. If I drop it from casual texting height, nothing happens, no chute open. But if I drop it from a height that it spends over half a second in free fall, the parachute deploys. That means this case can only protect the phone from incredibly high heights. I'm gonna throw it in the air. Three, two, one. Ugh. Why? Why? It just worked. What did, did it, did it? This feels like a fantastic opportunity to share with you guys one of the features of the Pixel 7 Pro. It's called the Magic Eraser. The way the Magic Eraser works, I'm gonna take a picture of my shame. One simple step, I can erase my shame. Look at that, it's gone. It's almost as if it never happened. <laughs> oh God, it's still right there. <laughs> Guess how many hours of sleep I got last night? The first one didn't work, but that's the beauty of engineering, is you just get beaten into the ground over and over again, but eventually you figure it out. And I think I figured it out with this. See, it worked fine when I dropped it flat, but the instant I threw it, it induced a spin, and that spin caused, I guess, I don't know, maybe it induces acceleration in the accelerometer, which makes sense, but I'm an engineer. I don't let problems like that get in my way. So I solved it by, by deciding to drop the phone off a parking structure instead of throwing it in the air. I'm a genius. The only difference is this parachute compartment has a piece of plastic that's folded down under the parachute. So when the door opens, it'll spring the parachute out. If it survives, I'll show you the spring. <laughs> I don't wanna reset it. Feel like I'm sending my child off to school. This is the second version of the Google Pixel 7 Pro parachute. In three, two, one. I don't know if that's a success or a failure. But either way, this seems like a perfect moment to talk about the dedicated 5X zoom camera on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. This is the 5X optical zoom, and this is the 30X super res zoom. This is amazing. It's, it's almost too zoomed in. Wow, I can see all the parts that are broken. The lid is broken. I still wanna know what it looks like in person though, even though the 30 zoom showed me everything I needed to see. <laughs> oh God, oh my God. Oh, it's been munched. It opened up, it came out. 
It hit the ground really hard. I don't really know. Maybe it's, maybe it's actually perfect. Maybe it did everything it needed to do. What if the parachute opened earlier? I don't know. Ready? Three, two, one. Somehow that was worse. All right. It just folds down, flicks it out. Also, you notice how bright it was outside? When did that happen? I did figure out a way to protect the phone pretty much guaranteed though. I'll tell you that in a second. Right after I say that this video was sponsored by Google Pixel. The new Pixel 7s are out now. This is the Pro model. Has all the features you saw in this video. I'm a huge fan. I'm genuinely super impressed with it. Are you ready for the secret to keep the phone safe? You put it in your pocket and you never take it out. Anyways, if you wanna see me refine any of these designs, I had a lot of fun with it. I never got to do mine either. If you wanna see me perfect any of them, let me know which one's down below and I'll do a follow-up. I think there's a lot of room for improvement. All right, bye.